Well, welcome back to the channel. We are on our final push on sheetrock and I am grateful for it. Let me tell you, I've had a uh, hell of a time with it and it has been a long uh, few months to get all this done, but we're, we're at the point where I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. We're gonna finish off. Like I said, I got all the walls in here done uh, and set, set up to be uh, textured. Uh, but next up, we gotta do the ceiling and join up everything with uh, mud and tape and do that. So the ceiling is the last part and then we're uh, good to go for the next phase of this, which will be texturing this house. <clears throat> anyway, it was great. We had the guys come in and they uh, fixed the ceiling uh, that was wonky in that one corner. Thanks to the first sheetrock guys, I just hurried up and uh, half-assed everything. But now we've got all that done. <clears throat> we're all set to go. We'll start working on getting the ceiling and uh, all the last of the uh, sheetrock done that work that we do as far as mud and tape goes and we'll uh, get that off I'm sure you're probably tired of watching me do it I know I'm tired of doing it anyway we'll uh, we'll get back at it Well, this has been going on for about a month now. We're still not started fully on the ceilings, but uh, this uh, bead, corner bead here that is at the top of this lip, I still need to uh, go ahead and run mud there. I was hoping to have the help from the guys to do that, but uh, so far they have uh, not shown up to the job yet. So we're gonna continue on with our progress and see what we can, what we can get done. So for all of so for all of these angles here, we're going to be using flat, this flex corner. There's no coat, uh, just like we did the, with the uh, uh, corner bead. Uh, this goes along the seams and the edges there, and that will uh, that will be what we're using that for, along with uh, the Easy Sand 45 uh, hot mud uh, to fill in some of these cracks. And you can see in the center line there, uh, we got to do some fill there. So. Uh, we've got some work ahead of us, but we're uh, getting onto the ceiling, onto all the walls, and all that is all prepped and done. Yeah, there you go. It took a little bit of work. Uh, like I said, uh, balancing off that plank is, makes it a little bit awkward, but I got that uh, edge done. We'll let that dry. We'll sand it, and we'll put on another coat there. And then we'll go ahead and we'll finish off that other side and then we'll be done with that ledge and we can keep uh, keep moving on with all this uh, mud work in this main room.
Well, the good part is day one is done. We, uh, between the three of us, we managed to get eight hours in today. Uh, so we got about 24 hours worth of work in this house so far on day one of this. We went through and we did all of the pre-fill with the uh, Easy Sand 45, which is the hot mud. We got all of the butt joints filled and everything else. And then we managed to get one half of the ceiling uh, taped out uh, and ready to go uh, as far as that goes. So <clears throat> the next up after this, we gotta do this other side here. Uh, the good part is, is that all of the sanding, if you can see that, all of the sanding was done. Again, all the pre-fill was done. We went ahead and sanded everything and uh, went through and did all the screw holes again for a second time, so that way that's coated. And then tomorrow we'll pick it up and we'll take uh, this side. Again, we have all these uh, corners and all the edges along the gable ends to uh, still tape and mud, but uh, that's coming along. But not bad for a first day. We're uh, just keep at it. This is a lot of a lot of work, but I am grateful to have the have the help because, uh, as I said, I was pretty burned out when it comes to shoot rock. I've been doing this for months, so uh, it's good to have the help. These guys are rock stars. Uh, Eric, the original, their partner, is working on a different project, so he gave this to them. This is their first big full house tape job or full tape job on their own, and so far they're doing a great job. So we'll just keep at it, and we'll pick it up tomorrow for more fun and games. Alright, now we've got this side all taped in and ready to go and now we're on to our next phase which is going to be doing an 8 inch trowel uh, on this other end here. We're going to start on this end. We still have all the uh, corners right here to get in all the way around the house so that meet the peaks and then, uh, and then start the uh, mud job on the seams. So we're making good progress. It's starting to come together. It's starting to look pretty good. Uh, my work on the walls, like I said, was uh, perfect a little overkill but really good so we're good to go there so we'll just keep at it and keep on the ceiling Well, we worked until dark today. As you can see, it's getting starting to get dark outside. But uh, we got a lot done. We got the first pass, or for second coat, actually, on all of the flats. We got all of the corner uh, uh, tape in, all the way around the entire thing, and we got all of the screw holes filled the third time. So we got quite a bit done in, this, in here. It's starting to come together. It's looking pretty, uh, pretty sharp altogether. 
One other thing that we managed to do is that we had some dips. I don't know if you can see them, but right here where the hot mud is, there was some bows in the uh, sheetrock uh, just from going up against the trusses. So we put hot mud in there and leveled everything out to where these corners are now uh, fully leveled and <clears throat> looking pretty nice. We did it to all four corners to make sure everything came out sharp and clean. Anyway, <clears throat> I've had a long day. I know the guys have too. So we will uh, wrap it up and we'll pick it up tomorrow. <clears throat> well, as you can see, we've got all of the butt joints are filled across. So that means the first coat's on there. And uh, all of, we're working on getting all of the uh, corners done as well. And then the second coat on this uh, edge is in this lip here. And uh, while they're working in this room here, I am uh, going through all the other rooms and doing the final coat in, in these. For instance, here's the office. And uh, I'm going through and sanding everything down and then uh, spotting all the screws and then taking all the hard edges off of, off of the corners and or off the main uh, drywall mud. So that way we're all prepped and that way as each room clears and we get done, we're getting closer to uh, uh, texture, which is uh, next, gonna be the next phase. So it'll go, it'll go finish the drywall, texture, primer, paint, and then we actually get to start the groundwork. So we're just gonna keep at it and keep sanding and keep mudding and hopefully get this room uh, all completed. Well, here we are, we're back at it. We're uh, gonna try and get a bunch more work done today and see what we can get accomplished. Like I said, we got the first coat of uh, all the tape on all the flats. We still have to do these, all the butt joints that are across. And then we still have these uh, angled seams in the center part of the roof to do. I'm not sure if that's happening today, but we'll, uh, we'll get that stuff going. So let's get at it. Well, as you can see, we have our first snowfall of the year. Uh, three, four days ago, it was 72 degrees, and today we have snow. So welcome to Montana. Anyway, we're continuing on with the uh, ceiling. Uh, we've got Eric is uh, going to be out here to help uh, start getting some of that done. So we'll get uh, back on that and stay inside where we don't have to deal with uh, all the wet and wild.
making some pretty good progress. Uh, we're using the uh, no coat tape in the center seams. We got this one done. And then we've got the center seam there. And then also the roof itself at the center pitch of the roof is done. And so we also managed to get one angle here. We were testing to make sure we could do it correctly, but uh, we got that uh, completed as well. So some big, big jumps today. We're about one day away, hopefully, if all goes well, we just have uh, three other of these uh, corner angles to do, and then we will be uh, done with all of the sheetrock and mud and tape in this house, and I will be uh, happy for it. But we're making good progress. We'll just keep at it, and we'll pick it back up. It's getting kind of late, as you can see, but uh, we'll pick it back up tomorrow and uh, see if we can get uh, this project finished. Well, I am officially done with sheetrock uh, as far as uh, everything goes. Mud and tape are completed. Uh, we're letting everything dry out, and then uh, once that does, we can uh, begin to texture. But uh, the great part is, is that after months and months and months, you know, this started in June when they first tried to lay the first two sheets and the guys quit uh, until we are finished now here uh, in November. So quite a bit, uh, Quite a bit of time and quite a bit of energy and expense to get this done but it looks pretty uh it looks pretty awesome all the way around so you know it's uh it's a pretty good uh pretty good feeling to be done and now we're like i said we're on to new new and different projects next up is going to be uh texturing i'm hopefully going to get some help um with this room especially as it would be great to have the machine to do this to get it done and then the rest of the house I will take on myself and, and do with a hand, uh, handheld sprayer. But overall, we are uh, heading in the right direction, which is good news. Anyway, if you like this type of thing, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button uh, and leave some comments down below. I'd love to get them and love hearing from everybody. Anyway, thanks for watching.